Hello, welcome to my channel subscribe or dale like if you like. Today we are going to talk about atropine medicine, we will explain its mechanism of action, its side effects, its dosage, its uses, its contraindications, its warnings, pregnancy and indications. The trade names of atropine are, atreza, saltropine, atropen, atropine sulfate, atropin. Mechanism of action of atropine stimulates the central nervous system and then depresses it, has antispasmodic actions on smooth muscle and reduces secretions, especially salivary and bronchial, reduces perspiration. It depresses the lazy and thus increases the heart rate. What is atropine used for? The therapeutic indications of atropine are in adults and children with body weight over 3 kg. As a pre-anesthetic medication to avoid reactions associated with tracheal intubation and surgical manipulation. To limit the muscarinic effects of neostigmine, when administered after surgery to counteract non-depolarizing muscle relaxants. Treatment of bradycardia with hemodynamic involvement or atrioventricular block due to excessive vagal tone in emergency situations. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation to treat symptomatic bradycardia and atrioventricular block. As an antidote after an overdose or intoxication by acetylcholinesterase inhibitors, for example, anticholinesterases, organophosphates, carbamates, and muscarinic mushrooms. Pathology of atropine. Adjust dose according to patient response and tolerance. Maximum total dose in adults. 3 mg and 0.6 mg in children until adverse effects are intolerable. Pre-anesthetic medication. Adults, 0.3 to 0.6 mg intravenous or intramuscular, intravenous administration before surgery, if necessary, intramuscular administration 30 to 60 minutes before surgery. Children, 0.01 to 0.02 mg slash kg. Maximum 0.6 mg per dose, intravenous or intramuscular, intravenous administration before surgery, if necessary, intramuscular administration 30 to 60 minutes before surgery, the dose should be adjusted according to the patient's response and tolerance. In combination with neostigmine to limit its muscarinic effects. Adults, 0, 6 to 1.2 mg intravenous. Children. 0.02 mg slash kg intravenous. Treatment of bradycardia with hemodynamic involvement, atrioventricular block, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Adult sinus bradycardia, half a mg intravenous every 2 to 5 minutes until the desired heart rate is achieved, atrioventricular block, half a mg intravenous every 3 to 5 minutes, maximum 3 mg. Children. 0.02 mg slash kg intravenous in a single dose, maximum 0.6 mg. Antidote of organophosphates, pesticides, neurotoxic gases, cholinesterase inhibitors and in case of mushroom poisoning. Adults, 0.5 to 2 mg intravenous depending on patient characteristics and response, can be repeated after 5 minutes and subsequently as needed, until signs and symptoms disappear. This dose can be exceeded several times. Children, 0.02 mg slash kg, can be repeated several times until signs and symptoms disappear. Mode of administration of atropine. Intravenous route. Intramuscular route. Contraindications of atropine. Hypersensitivity, closed angle glaucoma, risk of urinary retention due to prostate or urethral disease. Esophageal achalasia, paralytic ileus and toxic megacolon. However, all these contraindications are not relevant in case of life-threatening emergencies, such as bradyarrhythmia, intoxication. Warnings and precautions with atropine. Protatic hypertrophy. Renal failure. Liver failure. Heart failure, arrhythmias. Hyperthyroidism. COPD. Intestinal adenine in the elderly, pyloric stenosis. Fever or when the ambient temperature is high. Children, do not use if body weight is less than 3 kg. Elderly. Reflux esophagitis. Do not administer in myasthenia gravis unless it is done together with anticholinesterase. 
it should not delay the implementation of an external pacemaker in unstable patients, especially in those who present high-grade block, second or third-grade MOBITS type 2, tachyarrhythmias, chronic heart failure or coronary disease, liver failure and atropine. Caution. Renal insufficiency and atropine. Caution. Interactions with atropine. Caution with other drugs with anticholinergic activity, such as tricyclic antidepressants, some H1 antihistamines, anti-Parkinsonian drugs, disopyramide, mequitazine, phenylthiazines, neuroleptic drugs, atropine spasmolytics, clozapine, and quinidine. Due to the risk of potentiating atropine adverse effects, urinary retention, constipation, dry mouth, pregnancy, and atropine. Data from a limited number of exposed pregnancies indicate that atropine has no adverse effects on pregnancy or on the health of the fetus or newborn. Animal studies do not suggest any direct or indirect harmful effects in terms of reproductive toxicity. Studies of atropine pharmacokinetics in the mother and fetus in advanced pregnancies revealed that atropine crosses the placental barrier rapidly. Atropine given intravenously during pregnancy or at term can cause tachycardia in the fetus and mother. Atropine should not be used in pregnancy unless clearly needed. Breastfeeding and atropine Small amounts of atropine can pass into human breast milk. Infants are more sensitive to the anticholinergic effects of atropine. Atropine can inhibit milk production, especially with repeated use. The decision to stop breastfeeding or to discontinue or not start treatment should be made after considering the benefit of breastfeeding for the child and the benefit of treatment for the woman. If the decision is made to continue breastfeeding during treatment, the anticholinergic effects on the child should be monitored. Effects on driving ability with atropine Atropine may cause confusion or blurred vision and patients should be warned of this. Side effects and adverse reactions of atropine Excitation, incoordination, mental confusion or hallucinations, especially at high doses, hyperthermia, visual disturbances, madriasis, inhibition of accommodation, blurred vision, photophobia, tachycardia, arrhythmias, transient exacerbation of bradycardia, flushing, reduced bronchial secretion, dry mouth, difficulty in swallowing and speaking, thirst, parasympathetic inhibition of the digestive tract, constipation and reflux, inhibition of gastric secretion, loss of taste, nausea, vomiting, feeling of bloating, anhydrosis, hives, rash, inhibition of parasympathetic bladder control, urinary retention.